Hey everyone, and welcome to this video. So, um, I'm sitting, in, standing in front of a vehicle that for the last month or so, I have been keeping secret from you guys. Um, sorry guys, I, I had to do it. Um, I love my wagon, my wagon's still around, and um, yeah, it's still sticking around for the long haul. Um, that's my baby, I love that car. <laughs> but anyway, here it is. 2014 Ford F-150. Now I know I'm parked kind of like a dick right now, but whatever. It's fine. <laughs> There's no one else here. Conveniently, nothing's allowed to be open right now here because um, pandemic, which no, uh, I'm kind of over right now. Anyway, so this is a 2014 Ford F-150. Now, this one here is an XTR 4x4, an XTR for you guys in America. It's a Canadian package only. Um, it's a chrome package, pretty much. But for 2014 model year, and the reason I wanted 2014 was because I could still finance it to build credit, but at the same time, I got something new enough that it's pretty well rust free and I can keep it that way. Now, we'll get it running and I'll show you around the truck. I did get the windows tinted before I got it. They uh, just tinted them for me. Turn the volume down. On. Okay. We will pop the hood. We're gonna put down this window just in case too. So this truck isn't exactly how I bought it. And, admittedly so, uh, I honestly didn't think I'd do some of the things I did to it already. But the front windows got tinted. They did that before I got it. And then, these wheels, um, I love the tires. Like the wheels, they are coming off because, guys, these KO2s are freaking expensive. And uh, they are snowflake rated. So, my insurance is cheaper because of these tires, but I want to make them last for winter, so they're going to come off for summertime. I'm actually picking up some wheels and tires today. They are OEM. They're factory takeoffs from a 2018 F-150 because, as you know, guys, from the wagon, I really like OEM Plus look. Now, another OEM Plus thing I kind of did myself, if you see these taillights and the third brake light, I smoked them out. I may have been a little aggressive on the third brake light though, admittedly. <laughs> but yeah, these are the original tail lights. And I, I did a terrible job cleaning the truck the other day. But these are the original tail lights, just smoked out. They, they look a lot better now, a little splotchy, but if I find some FX4 tail lights, that's kind of what their look is. Spray and bed liner came with it. And I got, as some people call it, the old man step. Which actually, you guys, honestly, it comes in very handy. It's a very nice thing to have because these tailgates do sit up kind of high. And if I do my plan of, well, not yet, but eventually I have the idea to put a four inch lift on it maybe and stuff like that um, that'll be down the line it's not gonna be immediate at all but then this access tonneau cover I also got that with it and this thing's in great shape but I really like the tonneau cover it's it is just vinyl it's not a hard roll-up one but you know what guys it works it does the job right and it's also a thing of it rolls up really small so it doesn't kill the box size. Now, it was quite the challenge to find the truck combination I wanted. Um, I did actually have to settle. I wanted a Lariat, and wow, I have to step far back to get this thing in frame. I really did want a Lariat, but unfortunately the Lariat Premium is just so high. So I settled on an XLT XTR, which is one step below Lariat. So, it is what it is, guys. Beggars can't be choosers, so... 
and in the used market currently, trucks are just hard to come by. Now something I really love about the 14 model year, this 12th generation body style is one of my favorite F-150 body styles. And in the 14 model year, these headlights are the Lariat headlights in the XTR. Now the 14 model year was the only year you could get that, and this is the factory HIDs. Then under the hood, no I didn't make a mistake of buying an EcoBoost. I bought the 5 liter V8 Coyote. And it's surprisingly pretty good on fuel. I went on a trip with it last weekend and it achieved about 20 miles per gallon average. I really cannot complain one bit about that. Um, it's pretty good. And look at all this space up here, like, wow, that's a lot of space. Um, I do plan on doing a couple things more up front. What I'm thinking I want to do up front is I want to maybe paint, body color match the outside of the grill, the bumper valance. I want to relocate the plate to the EcoBoost location because I want to put a light bar in the middle right there. Um, I, I actually do have license plate covers on order and that. But uh, let's get on to the inside now. That's the outside of the truck. It is super clean. Um, it is already oil sprayed by me. It was oil sprayed by the previous owners as well, which was part of its selling point for me. We'll take a look in the back seat first. But what a huge back seat this is. Like, I, it's crazy. These crew cabs are huge. And if you want even more space, excuse a little bit of mess. I still have a mess from traveling in here and going somewhere last weekend. But there's so many cup holders, this two in the middle here, and a power plug, cup holder there, one on that door. There's a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cup holders in this truck. So uh, yeah, ten cup holders, maybe a little excessive, but I'll take it. Power windows, locks, mirrors, Lots of storage in this thing. I love the storage amount. And it's a, it's a pretty clean interior. There's a little, this seat could use a shampooing, but honestly, it's a light gray cloth interior. It's actually not an easy color to keep clean, clean. Um, OE rubber floor mats, which I, I did have to get myself. So yeah, that's the OE rubber floor mats. Uh, I actually got a great deal on them, 40 bucks. So, for the front and the back, not just the front. And it did have running boards on it. I actually already took them off. It's currently at almost 151,000 kilometers, which equals out to about 90,000 miles. Um, it's pretty good, actually. It's really low mileage. It's got the Ford Sync. Let's see if I can do this. Well, it's recording. I can apparently. Sweet. Line in, USB. Another power plug there. Now, I don't believe I... No, I don't have a power plug in there. But what's cool about this truck, too, is it's a bench seat. But also, I have storage under here. This slides in. It's just so neat that what Ford has done to make these trucks, like what they are and your power windows and locks on that side two glasses holders here now my eventual plans are to LED out stuff but that's not immediate um, I'm, I'm good with it the way it is now for now at least uh, all in due time guys but as you can see my four-wheel drive is here I have a rear locker and everything so yeah, and it has the max trailer tow package. Uh, so the trailer brake controller is in it. The tow mirrors, which I love the tow mirrors. They have amazing visibility out of them. And the blind spot mirror in the bottom is fantastic. It shoots right down the side, giving you no blind spots at all. So, yeah. That is my new purchase, guys. What do you think? Um, is it... Uh, 
And uh, what do you want me to do to it? Because I'm open to ideas. Uh, but there is things I won't do. Like if you ask me to put 22 by 14s on it, no. Not happening. Um, but a small leveling kit, certain aftermarket taillights if I find ones I like. Um, a wrap maybe at some point. Some color body, body color matching. Yeah, drop down below. What would you like to see done to this if I go that route of modifying it? Right now it's just a great daily and really it's what I wanted is it just a great daily driver. Uh, yeah, so tell me what you think down in the comments and thanks for watching. Have a great day everyone. Don't forget to hit that like button as well as subscribe for more. Believe me guys, I'll need the money for this truck. <laughs> See you later guys.